He pops it open. Was that a little bit too far away from the town hall? He's trying to do this Itsu super archer trick. He needs him to get the town hall. And they should be able to reach it from there. Oh yeah. Invis, Invis, Invis. Oh! He's only got like one targeting the town hall and only one Invis. Oh, Invis, bro, you have one more. What the dog doing? We're back, ladies and gentlemen. Today in the Fire Fiera tournament, we got War and Glory taking on RVNT, and I think we should have webcams. So let's pull up Sammy. Boom. With his webcam, everybody with webcams in this matchup. Let's see who's going to be victorious today. This is the Christmas edition of Fire Fiera, because the tournament should last all the way through Christmas. Let's see what Sammy's got for us with these super bowlers on this one. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Queen on the south side of the base with healers. Baby dragon to hell funnel. We want her to go inside and take out that multi. Nice and early. Does she walk the correct way? Uh, I think she goes back inside. Hello, tornado trap. Might need to rage her up. We do. Tornado spinning her in circles. Poor unicorn gets picked on early. Unicorn gonna die. But Queen steps up, takes out the multi. And she should continue to walk to the right. Now we're gonna use the Warden with the Queen to help support. One more Cocoa Balloon. Trying to find some traps. Wall Breaker on the right side of the base. All right, all right, all right. Next Rage on the Queen. Eat Titans, King, Siege Barracks, Witch. They got those Super Bowlers to deploy. There goes the jump in spell to give us access to the middle. Everything's looking decent so far. Is it gonna be good enough? We'll just have to wait and see. Next rage, freeze. Queen's still taking a lot of damage. She's gonna have to go to ability. Or does she? Ooh, we pop warden ability. Pop warden ability early there, okay. Bowlers are balancing. We gotta get through these ice golems. Second poison tower goes off. Town hall's awake off the bowler balance. We're gonna freeze the town hall. We're gonna freeze the monolith. We're gonna send Royal Champion on the top side. There's Valkyries up there to help support. Uh, Royal Champion's gonna go straight into the Barbarian King. We got the OP best pet in the game, the Lassie with the Royal Champion. Oh no. Town Hall drops, but everything's dying in the core. E Titans and Valkyries are moving along that top side channel though. That's looking good. We did get through the Barbarian King. Royal Champion still has ability. No more spells. Queen pops her ability in the middle. Is it enough? She goes down. We didn't get the enemy archer queen. We didn't get the scatter shot of the multi. Oh, I don't know. Sammy looks like he's stressing out. Woods is on the top side are getting some percent. The cannon, pop RC shield, pick up a few more buildings, but it's not gonna be a triple. The enemy archer queen is gonna shut it down. She's gonna kill everything. He takes out the enemy royal champion. They're gonna take out all these wizards. Rip. Nice try to Sammy. But it's not gonna be a triple. Gonna fall short here. The two star, 86% attack. Nice try. Nick is in with a super archer blimp. Ooh, is he gonna get that town hall? Let me pull up his webcam. We missed the first couple seconds, but he got the blimp far enough. They're targeting the town hall. Last invis, he gets it. Gets the scatter shot as well. Okay. Queen on the right side of the base. Nice. Wizard up at 130. Queen will take out the archers. There's a triple ice golem CC that he has to worry about. He didn't get the multi. I think he was expecting his super archers to pick that up. So this could be a little awkward. He just drops everything in, but oh, those ice golems are gonna make things weird. You're gonna get frozen up here for a little bit. Ooh, King pops his ability. They're all going inside. <clears throat> Sending balloons in front of the healers now. Okay. Where do we use Royal Champion? Some of the E-Titans are splitting in a really awkward direction. They're actually gonna pull that upper poison tower though. That's good, I guess. Single locks onto the king, down he goes. When do we send Royal Champion with the diggy? Ooh, the headhunter is, is it gonna take out the Royal Ch the enemy queen? Oh my gosh, it does. Yo, OP headhunter. Royal Champion's in on the south side. Queen's in the core, taking out the single, taking out the expo. She'll be able to go for the scatter shot. 
Pops Warren ability just before the last E Titan dies. Queen cannot reach the multi. We need Royal Champion to get all the way over there. Uh, it have a chance. It might. RC Pops ability. Her and the Diggy gonna stun this multi. Queen still has her ability. She's gonna wrap around the walls, pop her ability. If she can take out the King with her ability, this might still triple. One shot, two shot, three shot, four shot, five shot, six shot. She gets the king. We got cleanup on the left. 30 seconds to go. Royal champion with the diggy, with the queen, with the warden still moving through. It's either a triple or a time fail. Does he have it? Diggy is still stunning defenses. That diggy's cracked. Nick of War and Glory. Is he going to be able to get it done? He gets the perfect split too. Royal champion will take care of the things on the top. Queen goes left to work on these storages. 10 seconds to go. Nick already sipping on his soda. He knows he's got it. That's a three star for War and Glory and they take an early lead in this map. Melinello is in with a little zappy zap action behind the town hall. Okay. Baby dragon to funnel. Queen over on the right side of the base. Sneaky goblin, more sneaky goblins. Boom, healers on the queen. Flame Flinger in behind. Cool. It's meant to go for the multi and the poison tower. I'm a little worried about the mortar and the ground expo though. But let me pull up his webcam too. I forgot. Boom. There we can see him in action. That's a cool looking jersey. <clears throat> Queen sniping the skelly traps. Flame Flinger gets the multi and the mortar's not even in range. And the mortar should hopefully go down off the fire damage. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Queen gonna go perfectly inside the wall gap. Town Hall's already awake from the earthquake spell. Now, does that expo lock on? Yes. Can we at least take out the poison tower first? No. Flame figure's going for the cannon instead. We got King and Grand Warden and Royal Champion here on the south side. Dragon Rider's gonna pull the, the uh, poison tower. The poison tower does go down though. We rage the queen. She'll get the town hall. We send headhunter for the enemy queen. We pop king ability. Then we pop warden ability. This big trip, triple hero smash pushing through the bottom side of the base. We used to see this at town hall 14 a lot. The triple hero smash. Or triple hero kill squad. Whatever you want to call it. Little baby Lalo coming in from the left side. But we got stuck on ice golems. Queen still doing her thing on the right side. We freeze the scatter shot with the ego artillery. We got frozen by the ice golems again. We're going to rage. Freeze the scatter once more. Row Champion going for that core multi. Poison Tower is going to go off on her. But the core multi drops. We need to get through that enemy Royal Champion. We send a Headhunter. Balloons are fizzling out. Oh, the enemy Royal Champion is still alive. How is Warden just fighting skellies, bro? He's not helping. Queen on the outside of the base. We don't have any wall breakers to get her access to that multi. Oh, this might fizzle out here. I feel like the plan was solid, but geez, those ice golems are so annoying to deal with. It stalled up his king and royal champion forever. Three balloons left. He's thinking about where to use them. He's going to try to sneak them in for the multi. Will that even work? He drops all three. Loses all the healers. Queen already popped her ability. It's going to be a defense for Elliot. The expo stays up. Royal Champion shoots the balloons. He gets the CC building, but it's going to be a 96% attack. So close. Elliot is in with the next attack for War and Glory. Let's bring up his camera. Oh, he's got his camera sideways for rip. For rip. Super Bowlers and E Titans on this one. Okie dokie. Warden's going to set a funnel here on the right side. Of the base. We got a siege barracks currently activated. Two poison towers in the core. Wizard on the cannon while it's distracted. I like that. And a hog rider to try and pull the CC troops to the warden. Oh, that's risky. Really risky. I don't know if I'm a fan. Poison kills the headhunter and the archers, but now he has to deal with the lava hound with the raged up wizard that it'll go quickly, hopefully. Eh, it's not super quick, but it kind of works. 
Archers are in. Down go the pups. What's next? What's next, Clasher? You gotta turn your head sideways to see what he's doing. He's just chilling in his room. Super Bowlers from the south, or yeah, the southeast side of the base. Here we go. King Siege Barracks, wizard over there on the other side. Everybody gonna make their way inside. We got the jump in spell to get us to the core. Still two more rages to go. We're gonna rage early going in. We're gonna freeze the multi, the expo. Poison towers are going off. At least they land on the same spot. And the damage does not stack. That's good at least. Can we get through it all? Super Bowlers are still looking healthy. Where's the warden? Did this warden die early? Oh gosh. His warden's already dead. Yikers. Come on. Get the town hall. He misses the freeze on the town hall. He'll still get the town hall, but all the bowlers are dead. King's getting bamboozled. Skeleton spell from the left side. Royal champion with the diggy is in. Queen pops her ability, but the giga poison does so much damage. As soon as she's not invisible anymore, the monolith will send her to her grave. Down she goes. Diggy stuns the scatter shot. Gonna get distracted here by the enemy royal champion though. Healer switch trying to help out. He'll get a little bit more percent. Yeti's out of the the siege barracks or on the left side of the base. But nothing's gonna get that monolith. And he's running out of time. Rip. Nice try to Elliot. But it's gonna fall short. Down goes the wizard tower, the archer tower. He's gonna run out of time here at like 77% if he can get that army camp. Three, two, one, nope, 76. Nice try. Thomas is in with an early log launcher. Oh boy, I didn't miss the first 10 seconds, you did. I got his picture up here. Here we go, he's clashing in the kitchen. Let's go. Healers are switching, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Which way is Queen gonna go? Is she supposed to go to the middle? Hard to tell what his plan was. Yetis are running forward. Two poison towers behind the town hall. Healers are back on the queen. We kill the enemy queen. We kill the enemy royal champion. Eagle artillery is already awake, though. It's a little awkward. Sends his royal champion on the left. Queen gonna go straight up for the town hall. Poison towers are gonna go off. Oh gosh, the damage. Eagle. He pop her ability. He's still alive. Okay, we're gonna rage again and invis. All right. Start the Lalo from the left side of the base. Cool. Those healers on one HP. Oh, that rage on the queen. Was that needed at all? That might have been a little bit of a swag. Royal champion is dead. Monolith hitting the queen. We freeze it. Trying to keep her alive. We pop the warden ability. We rage the Lalo into the eagle. Monolith gets stunned by the diggy. Queen can get the other multi. Oh, it's looking good for Thomas of RVNT. All of his healers are dead, but I think he's looking decent here. Diggy stunned the wizard tower. Balloons and Warden are moving through the top side of the base. We can rewatch the opener as soon as it's over. I am kind of curious how he set that up. But nicely done from Thomas and RVNT are back in this match. Look at that. That might not have even been the plan. I don't know if he wanted Queen to go in the bottom side or not. <laughs> it's a triple though. And uh, rewatch the very beginning of it. Um, I think he was doing kind of this Town Hall 14 style Queen Charge Lalo with the Log Launcher. like Kind of like how I used to do a lot of at Town Hall 14, if you guys remember. King and Log Launcher going in. Queen was supposed to stay on the outside, but I think the King pulled her in. Yeah, I think he definitely meant for the queen to like walk to the right. And the log launcher was just meant to take out the single. It wasn't meant to get him to the town hall from the bottom section at all. He's funneling on the right. I think queen was supposed to go in like over here. But it still worked out. GG. Agent 33 is in with the next attack for war and glory. If he doesn't triple, we're going to be all tied up. If he does triple, they will be able to maintain their lead. He's going in with some Blizz Lalo. Early haste spell, trying to check for traps. And ooh. Blimp does not make it to the core, but I'm guessing he's okay with that and this is where he wanted it. 
There's no way he was trying to make it to the core. I don't think so, at least. Super Wizards are splitting. They're going to take the multi. He's not going to use that last invis. He did use an Earthquake. Was he expecting <clears throat> to take out the Poison Tower or something? If the Super Wizards target the CC building? Maybe. I think that was the point of the Earthquake, but they didn't quite target the CC building in time. Ice Golem slowed him down. Now we're going to do a Sui from the south side of the base, and he's got to get all the way to the Town Hall. See if he can do it. Phoenix with the King, Unicorn with the Queen, Giant making his way inside. Queen perfectly go target the single. She does. Hello, Tornado Trap. We got a Skeleton Spell in to distract. As long as we can take out that Poison Tower before it has a chance to recharge, I'm really liking this. There's a wall opening there for the Queen to have access to the Town Hall as well. Poison Tower is about to recharge, though. Uh-oh. He might have been a little slow on the Sui. The Ice Golem freezes it. Does Queen take it out? She goes for the Builder Hut first. King on the left. Queen going for the Poison Tower. The second one gets a shot off. But she takes out the first one before it actually recharged. It was so close. Now we can wait. Don't pop her ability until now. We're going to go with the Invis first, okay? Then pop her ability anyway. It feels like a waste of the Invis, but oh well. She gets the Town Hall. Lalo's making its way in from the west side of the base. Still got Warden ability. Still got two more Hounds to use. We're going to send them both from the top side. Here we go. Test the farm up there. Queen getting locked onto. Wish we had that invis spell now. Warden lost all of his balloons. He's by himself and he still has his ability. That's actually super awkward. We freeze the monolith. Warden, go help the other balloons, please. We're out of spells completely. But don't use Warden ability. They're going to make their way inside the eagle anyway. You can just save the Warden ability for the back end. Oh, boy. What an interesting style Lalo, but it looks like it's going to work as long as he doesn't time fail. Only 23 seconds on the clock. Pops, Warden ability there. Going to save the Phoenix and the Pups as long as possible. Drop the Balloon, drop the Sneakies, drop the Minion on the right side of the base. 14, 13, 12. Go, 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 go. Sneakies working on the army camp. He's cracking his neck. Thumbs up. He's got it. It's a triple. For Agent 33 and War and Glory maintain their lead. Eight stars to seven. Dark Star is in. The next attack for RVNT. They need a triple real bad. We're going with the blimp. Invis, Rage, Wall Breakers. It's a Blizz. Ooh. They go up. Invis Tower expires. Oh, the timing on that was phenomenal. He's able to get the Invis Tower behind it as well. Look at that. Look at the value with the Blizz. Considering he didn't have to use the Warden or anything, not even a Hound, that was a good Blizz. Very good. Also damaged the enemy Royal Champion quite a bit. Queen to fight the Hound over here on the right side. Let's see if he can get a good Sui now. Poison Spell will help take care of all the pups. Ice Golem, King, Giant on the right side. Balloons for the cannon. Need to make sure that Expo doesn't lock onto the Queen. It's on the Giant right now. <clears throat> King goes inside. We're going to freeze the Expo. It was hitting the, the Queen pretty hard. Pop the King ability. Get him out in front. Looking good. Barb's going to distract the multi as well. Giant Bomb hits the Queen. She's so low, but we're okay. Unicorn's doing a great job of keeping her alive. Skeleton Spell to help distract the Monolith as we make our way in. Royal Champion's going to help out, and we start the Lala from 6 o'clock. 85 seconds on the clock. Queen gets the first sweeper. King and Yak are beating through a wall. They get through it pretty quickly. Poison Tower went off thanks to the Skeleton Spell. That's OP. Two Headhunters are in to help us fight the King. That's looking good. Queen still has ability. We're going to pop it right there. Need her to at least get the Monolith. Royal Champion with the OP Lassie. Best pet in the game. Still getting some good value on the left side of the base. Warden with the 9 o'clock group of balloons. We send a Headhunter. We pop the Warden ability. Can the one Headhunter in the Warden ability take out the Queen? She's chasing a Hound across the map. Bro, she's running for her life. <laughs> that Queen was going all the way up to 12 o'clock. We pop RC ability. Can she get through the single? Yes. She took out the enemy queen too? Yes! 
Bro, his royal champion with the lassie just got like half the base. Swag, free spell. What a plan from Dark Star of RVNT. Swag's the freeze all over the middle of the base. Queen and Unicorn still alive. It's another triple. And RVNT tie it up just like that. Rigo Torres is in with the next attack for war and glory. Let's pull up his webcam. Here we go. Five healers, and we got super bolas on this one. Healers on the warden. Flame flinger in behind. Okay. Baby dragon to funnel over at seven o'clock, but he finds a couple of Teslas that might mess up his funnel. He's got one skeleton spell, one jumping spell. Warden already lost his poison lizard. He's gonna use a couple of balloons to get the Tesla at seven, and they do. Need to wait for Warden to get the scatter shot. We're gonna have to use a rage to keep him uh, his ability intact. Down goes the scatter shot. Cool. Warden making his way down. Should be able to start. What's he waiting for? What's he waiting for? I feel like you're just wasting time now. Here you go. Feels like a solid 12 seconds already wasted. Here we go. Ice Golem, Queen, Super Bowlers to fight the King. King and E-Titan making the funnel on the south side of the base. Need everybody to go in toward the Eagle Artillery. His Flame Flinger already popped open. Yeti's coming out. They might not get that multi. Yeti might are trying over the wall, but I don't think they get it. King pops his ability. We got a skeleton spell to help distract the monolith as the super bowlers make their way inside. Taking forever just to get through this eagle. We're gonna wall break into the monolith. That's a nice wall break. Juicy. And then we can jump to the rest of the base. But Queen's gonna get stuck on the hound. That's gonna take a while. There's the jumping spell. We pop a warden ability. We've got a long ways to get to that town hall. Send Royal Champion with the Phoenix on the south side of the base. No diggy on this attack. I'm surprised. We freeze. Bro Champion's kind of getting bamboozled right now. She's going to get stuck on Skelly's next. Healers took a lot of damage. Bowlers making their way in toward the town hall. We got no more spells. All the bowlers are dead. Queen still has her ability, and that's it. Rigo struggling here. Uh oh. The healers are ditching the queen, too. Ugh. 38 seconds. Queen should get the town hall with her ability, but the percent is going to matter. It's going to be super important because we're going to be all tied up 10 to 10 after this attack. Every single percentage point is going to make a difference. We're going to check to see who has the lead. In fact, I think RV and T have the lead no matter what. Warren Glory might be in big trouble now. Queen goes down to the Archer Tower and he's going to fall short. What was that picture he was showing on the camera? <laughs> 76% and if we check the stats really quickly RVNT are up by 6% that's 30 buildings Ooh. Joker is in with the final attack for RVNT if he triples they win the match it's all over anything short of a triple and War and Glory can steal the win with their last attack Gereticus is waiting he's got the last attack Hoping for a defense here. It's his base on defense, too. E-Dragons on this one. Two zap spells for a sweeper. This is basically triple or nothing for Joker. They're already up by like 30 buildings on percent. So, unless this attack is like a 60%, there's no way War and Glory can catch up on percent. One E-Dragon funnels the left side. Two Raged E-Drags on the top side also working on that funnel. Tesla's popping. They're distracting, though. The rest of the E-Drags coming in from the 1030 angle with the Warden. Two Poison Towers in the core. We got the Battle Blunt for the Town Hall. We're popping Warden ability. It looks a little sloppy. King and Queen on the top side. There's still more traps up there, though. Poison Tower 1 goes off. Poison Tower 2 goes off. We Rage over the Town Hall. Down it goes. Okay. Freeze the Monolith with the Eagle. Oh, is he going to get that Monolith Eagle combo? Sends the Royal Champion to it early with the Diggy. Another Skelly Trap to distract, though. One more freeze as Queen was getting locked onto. Bro. These E-Drags on the top side got wrecked. There's still three on the bottom side with the Warden. Diggy going to stun the Monolith. Queen had to pop ability. 
Expo locks on the Unicorn. Down goes the Unicorn. Queen on one HP. King's getting bamboozled on the right side of the base as well. One invisibility spell. Queen goes down. Poison spell. The Ice Golems came out of the clan castle. That's awkward. We got the invis. He's showing his iPad. What for? He's looking like a fail. Uh-oh. He's got one sneaky goblin and that's it. Down goes the wizard tower. Royal champion. Is that Diggy still alive? He is. Down goes the air defense. We stun the multi. Bro, no way. Does this work because of Diggy? No. Not quite enough. This is actually so close though. Like literally just two archer towers that stopped him. It's just two archer towers, man. And this would have been a triple. Wow, that got so close. You can see him leaning back. He's like, dang it. But they got all the percent they needed. Remember, there were already 30 buildings in the lead. But it's going to be two stars. So it all comes down to the final attack of War and Glory from Gereticus. Triple or lose situation. Gereticus is in with the final attack for War and Glory. Percent doesn't matter at this point. It is triple or lose situation. Not even 99% is good enough. And here we go. Hound. Blimp. He pops it open. Was that a little bit too far away from the town hall? He's trying to do this Itsu super archer trick. He needs them to get the town hall. And they should be able to reach it from there. Oh, yeah. As long as they target it. Next invis. Did he clone? He did. There just doesn't look like there's that many super archers. Invis, invis, invis. Oh! He's only got like one targeting the town hall and only one invis. Oh, invis, bro! You have one more! Radicus! Bro, he had one more invis. He didn't use it. Rip. Rip. Town hall is going to get repaired back up to full health. Interesting. Queen on the right side. Is there any way he can save it? Oh, and she's in range of the Archer Tower while fighting the Ice Golems. Sadness. Sadness. I'm guessing he just thought he wouldn't get it even with the last invis no matter what. So he's like, I might as well save the invis. There was two Super Archers targeting the Town Hall. I'm guessing that's not enough. I think he needed the blimp to make it like one tile farther or just clone them one tile closer to the town hall. They were targeting too many other things before they were actually targeting the town hall. It's sad. But we still got Royal Champion. We got Balloons. We got Warden. We pop Warden ability on the top side. We're expecting King and Queen, at least Queen, to walk over to the, take out the town hall. Balloons are getting through the top side of the base. Eagle's locking onto the Royal Champion. Icehound on the left is freezing quite a bit of stuff. Queen can pop her ability and take the Town Hall. Royal Champion pops her ability. We got the Invis spell. She'll take the multi. Dang, bro. If that Town Hall wasn't up, this actually would have been clapped. He's still going to end up getting pretty close. But the Scattershot stays up. The multi stays up. The enemy Royal Champion stays up. It's a big defense for Thomas. And our... V N T are gonna be victorious today. Taking out War and Glory 12 stars to 12 stars percentage in favor of R V N T. We'll check out that percent right now. Oh, there we go. 12 to 12, 94.6 to 86.4.